How's it going you guys? It's Scott with Everyday Home Repairs and we're continuing on with a series where we look into different brands of outlets or also known as receptacles. This stretches back to when I did this video looking at residential grade, the super cheap like 50 cent outlets compared to commercial grade, which is usually around $2. Now, just digging into that and, and going through all your guys' comments from that video, I really turn to commercial grade in my home, in my renovation projects, and in my rental properties. So I really only use commercial grade. So then to scratch my own itch and also share that knowledge with you, I wanted to look at the four major brands of commercial grade and kind of pick which one I would use going forward, which one I would select. So the first video we did was Leviton versus Eaton. My preference is Eaton. If you want to see that complete video, you can look down in the description and I'll link to those other videos along with the actual outlets that we'll look at today. Now taking that Eaton commercial grade receptacle, I'm going to compare it versus Legrand or also known as Pass and Seymour. These are kind of the three outlets that are readily available in my area. Leviton's at Home Depot. Eaton is at Lowe's and Legrand is at Menards, which is a large home improvement store, mostly in the Midwest. So let me know down in the comments, where do you guys get Legrand in your area? So if you're on West Coast or East Coast, the Southeast, the South, you don't have Menards. So I'm curious to know which big home improvement store carries it for you. You'll find Legrand in pretty much all home improvement stores, but more into the smart home, a little higher end receptacles, the dimmer switches. Those you usually find in pretty much every home improvement store. But when you wanna go down to the standard outlets, the GFCIs, for me, Menards carries that. So the two things we'll look at is just overall general features comparing Eaton to Legrand, and then we'll open them up and look at the internals, Eaton versus Legrand, finishing off with which is my favorite. Does Eaton stay at the top for me or does Le Legrand take the top spot? So let's jump in and we'll just look at the general features first of the Eaton versus Legrand commercial grade receptacles. So we have on the left hand side a BR15 Eaton commercial grade receptacle. And on the right hand side, we'll have the Legrand CRB5262 commercial grade receptacle. Both of these are 15 amp, both are non tamper resistant. So remember, get the right receptacle for your job, but these are just the ones we're comparing today. One question last time that was asked in the comments, which is the easy enough check, is just overall weights for what it's worth. So yeah, 78 grams with the Eaton, 74 grams with the Legrand, and just a point of reference, the Leviton that we compared last time is quite a bit lighter at 65. So for what it's worth, the Eaton is slightly heavier. Common features, you'll see a self-grounding strap here on both. The interesting thing, Legrand does actually put it on both screws, which is the first time I've seen that with the brands where they have self-grounding on both screws opposed to using a plastic or fiber washer here at the top to hold the screw in, but not integrating that feature. Before we flip them over, two features that Eaton has that Legrand does not. So you have a screw catch feature in the middle here. What that helps to do, those little plastic flaps will grab onto the screw when you're mounting your faceplate. So you do not have to thread the screw in to get the faceplate to stay. So it is kind of a handy feature when you're installing faceplates. And then if you remember, the kind of secret feature on this Eaton is a wire stripper built into the yoke. So on this side, it's 14 gauge. On that side, it's 12 gauge. One of the commenters in the last video, I think was on point, and he said, if I was on the third floor of a house, left my strippers in the basement, and only had one wire to strip, I might use this. Other than that, I'm going to get the strippers, and I, I line up with that. It's a interesting design feature, but it's a little more of a gimmick, I think, than an actual handy feature to have. The biggest feature that I really like on commercial grade is the back wire feature. I think this is very handy for DIYers and helps get a consistent and secure hold while wiring these receptacles. So you'll see a plate in there on the Eden. You make sure the plate is pushed internally so you can pass your wire in. And then you would tighten that down 
to secure the wire. I think for DIYers, it's a no-brainer to go with commercial grade and having back wire is a great option. So I'm not sure if you're picking this up, but the Legrand is overall, almost in every dimension, just a little bit smaller. So it's just a tighter overall packaging. There's a few areas like this where you have this bump out with the wire stripper that actually has a cutout in the Legrand. That might not seem like much, but it just feels significantly smaller in your hand as well. So I think that's gonna pay off when trying to get those into tight electrical boxes. Now let's pop off the top and just look internally to the contacts to see if there's any significant differences. So this is always my favorite part, and that's looking internally to compare and contrast the designs. So Eaton on left hand side, Legrand right hand side. Overall, this, there's a lot of similarities between these two designs. The overall contacts themselves I really like because the way that this is designed makes me think that both Eaton and Legrand are using these same contacts in their 20 amp receptacles you're kind of getting a free upgrade because they want to share components between the designs and get their volumes up. The housings on both have nice separation between the neutral, the hot, and the ground. So hopefully there'd be no internal failures and in shorting down the road. The side wiring features on both have nice thick plates. One interesting thing here on the Legrand is I don't know why for the ground on the top, they do top and bottom configuration, but on the bottom they do a left to right. If anybody knows why that is, let me know in the comments. We always get great comments from the viewers. And if you guys are liking this before, I usually just write at the end, if you're liking this, if you value this content, let me know by hitting the like button. Also comment, uh, add a comment. That really helps the videos and I, I would greatly appreciate that. So thanks in advance. Now here's the biggest difference. And I thought this was pretty cool because I haven't seen it on any other receptacle. If we look at the thickness of the brass, I don't know if you can tell, but it's actually a little thicker here on the Legrand. So I, what I did is I just used my calipers and I got the thickness of each of these. Now what it ended up being was close to 0.5 millimeters thickness for the Eaton and about 0.65 millimeters for the Legrand. So if we look at the brass gauge chart, we can see the Legrand actually has 22 gauge opposed to the Eaton has 24 gauge. So to me, that's fairly significant and really backs up a lot of the feedback I've gotten from you guys. Seems like people that have used the Legrand or Pass and Seymour receptacles in the past really do like them. So I'd say that's a definite plus for the Legrand is the overall thicker brass use for the contacts. So that's it internally. Let's bring it all together, touch on price really quickly, and then I'll give you my choice for which one I prefer. Eaton continues to be the most expensive in this category. So if I buy a single BR15 from Lowe's, I'm paying 226. If I get a 10 pack, that brings it down to $1.95 per unit. The Legrand will start off at the $1.99 price point for a single, but it will but if you buy 10, you're gonna bring that all the way down to $1.69. In addition, I get these at Menards and for, man, almost about a year now, Menards has been basically running 11% off rebate. So Legrand is considerably cheaper from a base level, let alone another 11% off from Menards. Which one would you prefer? Let me know down in the comments, would you prefer the Eaton or the Legrand after seeing the comparison? For my choice, Although the Eaton beat out the Leviton for me, and I really liked just its overall construction, gotta say, I got a new favorite. The Legrand packs a punch. The packaging is tight. They definitely paid attention to no additional material that's not needed. Keep it as tight as possible, which I think will really pay off in some of those installs where you just don't have much room. 
I also really like the thicker gauge metal on the inside. It shares components with the 20 amp, even though this is a 15 amp. And it has one of my favorite features of these, which is the back wire feature, which I do recommend. So the Grand CRB 5262 is now my favorite. So Leviton, Eaton, now the Grand takes the cake. So that's top of the mountain. And then last up in the comparison on another video, we'll do the Hubble. A lot of you have recommended these, have used them for years and really like them. So I'm interested to see how that stacks up versus the Legrand or the Pass and Seymour. All your feedback is always appreciated. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel already, go ahead and do that before taking out. We have multiple videos coming out per week to help you with repairs and improvements around the house. And we'll catch you on the next one. Take care.